And we're gonna stall once again, okay? And after that, we should be good. Oh my god. Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Tricks here. Back with yet another banger. We're gonna be playing some sort of Rabbit Crucible Boost only. So let's hop right in today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And also, while you're at it, drop a like on the video because you already know it's gonna be a banger. So I've been reading your guys' comments, and y'all want me to show you a good balloon chipper strategy, okay? So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing in today's video. We got the map Yin Yang, and the strategy that I'm gonna be using is Ninja Village Balloon Chipper, all right? So Let's get it. So remember, boys, we are in Ceramic Crucible boost only, okay? So we are not relying off of any broken power combinations for the strategy to work. That proves that the strategy is actually viable and that you don't need tier four powers in order to win with it, okay? But anyway, round two is here. He's gonna end up starting off with the bow. And also he did decide to send me some reds, okay? So all we have to do is just upgrade to the two one and we'll be fine, okay? And we did force that grape shot on his side as well with the constant reds which is nice. And I think we can all agree that the balloon chipper is definitely an underrated and neglected tower, okay? Like a lot of people just don't use it. So I'm excited to show you guys a strategy because it actually does go pretty nuts. And it definitely is fun to switch up your strategy every now and then, okay? Because yeah, I, I get it. I, I don't like using the same strategy over and over again. It gets very repetitive, okay? So if you guys want, try the strategy out. But we are signing the young man constant blues here. He ended up going for a plantation, which is just bizarre to me. He, he might literally die. Okay, that, that's not the goal. No, oh, wh <laughs> what? <laughs> this young man ends up surrendering. There is no way. Wait. It, oh, no. It's it's not like, oh, my God. Her name's Chloe. Dude, guys, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> guys, I just assume that everybody is a guy when playing this game, okay? Which is something bad, okay? I, I do need to fix that. I did not realize that her name was Chloe, okay? So, Chloe, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. But we do got the map Water Hazard, okay? So, once again, gonna be going Ninja Village Chipper. Let's freaking go. So, Agudo is gonna be starting off with a farm on his side, okay? We're gonna be sending him consistent reds right from the jump, okay? And he's also going with the darkness map, okay? So, kind of surprising. The dark can definitely work, though, but I just don't see a lot of people going with it, okay? But, also, too, he's not being aggressive with Eco at us, which is super, super freaking nice. He's going to end up sending down yet another set of spikes and uh, also upgrading to that triple dart. Okay, so off to a fantastic start. And he's also going to send us some space blues. That's 100% fine. Oh, and the boat. He's going with the boat, too. So dart boat farm. Interesting strategy, to say the least, ladies and gentlemen. But I like it, okay? I like strategies that are different because they are unique. He's sending me space pinks. Oh, no, man. I've got the 2-1 ninja, bro. We're going to be fine, hopefully, I think, at least. We might have to upgrade to a double shot, but I I'm just not going to do that, you know? Like, why? Why do that? You know, <laughs> we might actually have to. Or, actually, yeah, let's do this, okay? We're going to upgrade to a 0-0 chipper, set that bad boy to strong, and now that it is on strong, it's going to be sucking up the space pinks and making it so much easier for us to actually pop everything, okay? And he's still sending. He does not care. He is just still sending consistent space pinks. This is actually nuts, okay? But his farm game's not looking good. We've got an aggressive opponent on our hands, ladies and gentlemen, okay? But ends up going for yet another 1-0 farm, okay? You definitely should not be doing that because before going for another 1-0, you should upgrade to a plantation, okay? It's just the better cost-effective um purchase hopefully that makes sense y'all uh but he ended up going for a spike of port, okay so quite surprising i don't think actually no he definitely needed it for the greens i just can't send too many at a time uh but we got 538 eco we're gonna stop right freaking here and we're gonna prepare for round eight because dude since he was aggressive on round four up until like round six there's no telling if he's gonna be aggressive on these next upcoming rounds okay but he did end up going for a plantation which is 100 percent a good sign, okay? And I'm also gonna end up getting this village on the map, okay? This is going to decrease the cost of our upgrades on these towers. And eventually the village is going to make these towers stronger as well, okay? So it's just a win-win situation, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but currently we have no lead detection and how we're gonna be popping leads is by upgrading to a 2-0 chipper. That should just do the trick. He does not have any lead detection either though. So gonna make sure that we send him a lead here. And I'm going to go for this 2-0 now just to be safe. And I'm kind of feeling like this guy is just going to all out me round 13. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> he just didn't upgrade, by the way. He, he just straight up did not upgrade to those leads. Yeah, 
Dude, this guy's all out of me, Route 13. I'm gonna send him then two more sets of leads because like, dude, you've gotta upgrade. Oh, he did go for that jug. Okay, I did not see that. Uh, but let's see what happens. It's now round 12. I I'm ready to upgrade to this balloon jitsu, but I don't, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, okay? I do not know if that's gonna be enough. He's only got two farms though. Oh, he's preparing too. He's preparing too. <laughs> so I'm thinking that we might just end up being able to go late game, okay? I mean, that is the goal for sure. This is a late game strategy. So our goal is not to win during these mid game rounds and he still has yet to be aggressive. Okay, uh, that's a lot of pinks. Okay, so I'm just gonna go for balloon jitsu. That's going to ensure us that we can defend. We might leak a few lives. Actually, nah, we're good. Okay, so let's get an eco in boys. And hopefully he just does not realize that I don't have any camel lead defenses because at the time, yeah, I, I don't, okay? So we're just banking off of him not knowing, um, but it is now round 16, okay? We have 874 eco, not too bad, but also at the same time, not the greatest, okay? I do want to hit 1,000, hopefully before round 20. That definitely is doable for sure. And we just did hit 1,023 eco on round 17, okay? So round 18, he could 100% send us mob, okay? So that's why I'm gonna chill with the eco for a second, okay? And if we have to, we'll probably upgrade to hopefully another double shot eventually. And then we'll 100% be able to defend against the Moab. But he's going for more farms, okay? So maybe he's not going to be aggressive, boys. I'm going to take advantage of this opportunity then and send him a decent amount of pinks, okay? We don't want to go overkill, though, for sure. Because we got to we gotta play this safe, okay? So yeah, now I'm just going to space the eco here, okay? Play this freaking safe. And here comes some AI leads, okay? So yeah, I'm going to go for a flash bomber just to play it safe because, yeah. <laughs> We still currently only have one tower that can pop leads and just normal leads. So yeah, I, I think going for the flash bomber is not a bad call at all. But we do have 1300 eco right now. Round 20 is here. This man could send us a BFB. Okay, so gotta stay on watch for that. But so far, boys, he has yet to. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna eco here. Oh, okay, he's gonna end up boosting. I was about to say, I, I don't want to kill him here. I also don't want to die. What what what's going on with that? <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad for us. Oh, Agudo ends up going for the BIA on round 21. Okay, so solid move from the young man. We're going to eco here, okay? Wow, that AI, dude. That was a little bit tougher for us. But I'll make sure to upgrade um, on round 22, okay? Because the ceramics obviously are going to be coming in. We do, though, have this chipper, okay? And remember to always set your chippers to strong because you do want them to suck up the strongest balloons that are on the map, okay? But... I'm going to end up going for another double shot here. Let's go for the distraction upgrades as well. And uh, hopefully for round 22 AI, that definitely should be quite enough. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Okay. I, I got scared for a second. <gasps> no way. This guy, this guy, dude, utmost respect for anybody, anyone that uses the spike factory. I don't care if it's his fourth. I don't care, man. I don't want to hear it. It's the spike factory. Mad respect. I keep on stopping with the eco for a second because I'm just getting scared that he's going to die. Like, <laughs> I don't want him to die. And also, too, like, he doesn't have a lot of money coming in because he just went for the BIA. So, yeah, I I'm a little bit nervous. Round 24-2, that that's going to be a tough round for him to defend against. Okay, so I might just straight up not eco on that round. And I might have to even go for more defenses myself. Okay, so we'll probably end up doing that. And here's round 24 AI. Okay, he went for a spike ball. Okay, so I do feel a lot more confident that he can defend against this. It's still going to be kind of hard for him, but... I have full faith. Oh, yeah. That, that was an absolute breeze for the young man. Okay, so round 25, though, is coming up. <laughs> Obviously, it's the next round. So this round's AI, too. Nothing to joke with. So I'm not sending him Eco. I, I don't want him to die. I think I'm also, too, going to go for yet another 2-0 chipper. Remember to set it to strong. So that sucks up these ceramics during this AI. <gasps> He's balloon boosting something at me. What's going on? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? <gasps> no, don't die. Okay. Whew. He ends up defending. Good, good signs for sure. Oh, what, what's going on here? Two Moabs and a BFB. Okay, so I don't necessarily think this is an all out, but quite an aggressive rush from the young man. 100%. We are going to be able to easily defend against this. We've got too much money racked up. 3,000 eco too. My goodness. Okay, but it looks like we're like really congested right now. It's just our chippers. Okay, there's just a lot of regrown balloons and whatnot. I'm going to end up selling... Uh, this flash bomber in here to replace it with a potential jitsu if i get that spot there we go and we're gonna stall once again okay and after that we should be good oh my gosh man wait this looks why does this look so bad for us 
<laughs> my goodness okay we ended up defending i'm telling you guys it's just a chipper it spreads the balloons all over and it makes it look really really bad but uh we ended up being good okay so i'm also gonna go for the three zero village here or actually three two village this is going to increase the amount of money that we get per set of pink cent therefore we're gonna get up our eco even quicker ladies and gentlemen okay but oh no round 27 ai man he can't die to that no true no surely you have so much money no 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 he's gonna die guys no <laughs> He ends up boosting, man. No, you can't die to that. He, no, Agudo can't die. He just doesn't. Okay, let's freaking go, boys. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think barely, just barely. No, dude. The ceramics, man. Like, going for the spike falls. Don't get me wrong. It's a good play, but he needs more towers like darts and whatnot on the map in order to defend. Oh, no. Ended up leaking down to four. <laughs> can i even send this man any more eco i don't know at this point yeah he's gonna die he's he's going to die to this ai it's very unfortunate because he has so much money agudo you have some agudo you had so much money bro <laughs> all right okay this yeah this game is probably not gonna work out for us boys he's just being way too aggressive oh no and yellows yeah hey this game this this is not the game for us i'm sorry just gonna send him regular rainbows here and uh, that should be freaking game as long as it doesn't have the tax shooter, okay? If he does have the tax shooter, then that'd be pretty bad. But I think that we got away with an easy dub. Dude, like I said, we could not go late game. 100% could not with him being that aggressive. GG's. Mm. Industrial zone. Sorry, it's not gonna work. Glacier mount. Again, not gonna work. Water resorts. Again, not gonna work. Just kidding. Okay, this is gonna work. So we've gotten strictly only dubs besides the disconnections, which by the way, that's how I rack up losses on the account because like sometimes I want to use a certain strategy and obviously on short maps, if I want to go late game, it's just not gonna work, you know? So I just leave. But we've been racking up the dubs, but not in the way that we want them, okay? We want to go late game. It, it just seems impossible, I guess, in Serena Crucible. I always have this issue, but I'm feeling this one, boys, okay? I'm feeling this one. This is going to work. He's going to end up starting off with the boat as his first popping power tower. Okay, he's also farming too. Good, good sign so far. He's not being aggressive towards me either. Although we probably will have to eventually upgrade because of the AI. And also round four potential space pinks. All right. So he ended up going for a zero zero boat. Wow. Okay, this guy's playing safer than most for sure. Uh, because most people would have just went for the plantation. But he said, screw that. I know blues are going to be sent. I want to play this safer, right? And also, he has yet to send me a single balloon, okay? I did, though, regardless. Go for the 2-1. Like I said, I wanted to play it safe. He ended up going for that plantation there, okay? So, well done. Not too bad. Not too bad so far on both sides. And here on round 6, he could easily send me some space blacks, and that would force the double shot upgrade. But since he hasn't been aggressive so far, I'm going to try to just constantly send greens. He went for two faster shootings and another 0-0 zero, zero boat. Oh, my gosh, okay? A little bit overkill with the defenses, but I mean, I'll take it, okay? As long as he's not pressuring me, then I'm 100% fine with anything. Uh, but we're going to eco just one last time right here. Okay, 533, solid, solid amount. We're going to stop right here and start preparing for round eight. And he just went for another farm, okay? So he might not be aggressive towards us, which would be super, super nice. And uh, so far, yeah, we're good, okay? So I'm gonna end up then going for this village here, all right? And I like to get the village as soon as I can because it decreases the cost of the upgrades um, of our towers, obviously, that are within range of the village. So ultimately, we end up saving money, which is a huge, huge plus, especially when it comes to these rounds, okay? Like round eight through 13, those rounds, they get pretty tricky, all right? But round 10 is here. He currently has no lead detection. Okay, I'm gonna go for a double shot, by the way. And uh, he also might be sending me something so... I'm going to end up going for this chipper, okay? I'm going to set the strong. You should always target your chippers to strong, okay? You want them sucking up the strongest balloons. I'm going to be upgrading to the 2-0. That is going to allow us to pop leads if necessary, all right? And by the way, he does, in fact, have the wizard, okay? So both ways, solid, solid strategy indeed. But for a map like this, would not recommend because, dude, he can only have, like, max, like, five boats. So... Yeah, that tower is pretty much out the water. No pun intended, by the way. But boys, he is not being aggressive. Oh, never mind. Okay, so he is being aggressive. So probably just going to end up boosting that. Yeah, for sure. And we're going to sell that to go for another blue jitsu. And with two blue jitsus, yeah, we're going to be able to defend against that. Okay, so that, that was that was really aggressive. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was super aggressive. All right, we currently have no lead detection though. Um, so we're going to kind of just have to wait and see what he does here. Okay. All right, uh, 
I want to go late game, man. But these these kids, they they just they don't they don't in Ceramic Crucible. They're a different breed in Ceramic Crucible, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, but I guess I'm gonna eco here a little bit. His defenses are pretty adequate though, but I just need to get out my money, you know. And he set down another farm. Okay, so looks like we might be going a little bit later than anticipated okay we kind of just had to hope and pray at this point because i'm really being greedy right here but i i just need to get on my eco man i really really do round 18 is here if he sends us leads or camel leads at any point in time we are absolutely screwed by the way okay so yeah we're kind of just hoping that he does not do that so far looks like we are good let's go just did hit a thousand eco too i'm gonna stop right here all right and it is now round 20 okay i upgraded a few defenses uh he just sold that farm oh my gosh okay so obviously yes he's probably gonna be sending me a bfb holy crap we can't go late game we <laughs> nobody wants to go late this is actually nuts okay but um I'm pretty confident that we can defend against this, all right? Uh, we could actually probably... Ooh, ooh, okay. All right. You know, we, we do have the stalling, okay? So that's nice. Hopefully no camel leads underneath that either uh, because, yeah, we just, we just can't have those, okay? So hopefully with all of that, we can defend. That's going to be kind of close. That's going to be cutting it real close, okay? So I'm going to try to get up these chippers. Oh, no. We might have just barely not defended. Maybe just barely. Maybe just barely. Oh my gosh, it's so close. It's so close. Holy crap, we had to defend him. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Holy, okay. I'm not going to kill him. I I'm not going to be rushing him. Nothing like that. We are dragging on this game, whether he likes it. Oh my gosh, he's sending me fast cooldown ceramics, bro. <laughs> he's giving us a well done. No, we're continuing on the game. Why not? Oh no, it's round 22. Okay, so I'm not going to send him any balloons that he can defend. This happens every time, man. It happens every single freaking time. He ends up boosting, barely, barely just holding on. Okay, so I'm going to sell those and um, I guess get back to Equin. Okay, he's probably just going to send me another rush. No, he, he did go for another destroyer here, but the constant pinks, man, already giving him some trouble, okay? And yeah, he might have just died. Oh, no, he ends up being good. I guess this strategy is just unstoppable, okay? Because we still have yet to lose with it. It's just that we have yet to also go late, you know? So it's like, oh my gosh. Uh, but round 24 is about to be here, okay? So I'm going to stop with the pinks so that he can actually defend against round 24 AI because it's going to be pretty hard for him to defend against. Uh, because yeah, there's gonna be a lot of ceramics, but I'm also probably gonna end up going then for another chipper So that we are good as well. I mean dude, we're definitely good, but yeah, I, I think he's dead to this AI He didn't even upgrade his wizard. He could upgrade to the dragon ball. Yeah, dude, this strategy meant he was about to all out of <laughs> Oh my goodness boys, I, I guess we just can't go late game in ceramic crucible that that's what I've learned um, after all these videos I showcase, nobody normally wants to go late. But that's fine, okay? We got to showcase the strategy a little bit, so happy about that. If you guys did enjoy today's video, don't forget to drop a like on it. And also, if you have not already, make sure to click that subscribe button, alright? So the last question I asked you on the last video was, did I take a W in yesterday's video or an L, alright? And the answer is a W, alright? So this guy won, congratulations, man. In the next question, I'm going to be asking you guys this. What is the latest round that we made to in today's video, right? Make sure to leave your answers down below in the comment section. And you may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video, which is obviously dope. I hope you boys enjoy. Once again, it's been your Bull Bull Tricks or Justin. Peace out, everybody.